On today's video, we're going to go over the Horns Over series. It is a quick hitting action that lots of teams are using to get into a downhill attack. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mark Hart, owner of System Basketball, and I do online videos, courses, clinics, and playbooks to help coaches like yourself around the world. Tonight's going to be a lot of NBA footage again, and I watch the NBA for a couple of reasons. The best players in the world, spacing, and I try to find ideas and simple things. How do they get people shots? I'm a big proponent of the dribble drive motion offense, but there are times when you need screening actions, they're face guarding, they're denying. Maybe you're not as talented that night. You're not able to blow by people. You're not able to get in the paint. But my go-to of everything is I flow everything into dribble drive. So my opinion of dribble drive real quick is it's a framework. It's not really an offense. It teaches you spacing create gaps, get to the basket. Fits in with all today's analytics, get to the rim, shoot layups, shoot threes. Um, so I believe it can be ran with anything. So if you take horns, you take Princeton, you take triangle, you take whatever you want, what are you gonna do when you put the ball on the floor? Your players are gonna have to have an idea of where the players should be rotating and, and reading penetration. So when I put tonight's together, I was studying during the Phoenix Suns run to the finals, I believe it was 2021, uh, the year after the bubble, and, and found a series of actions that they ran a lot. So a lot of the game film tonight's gonna come from the Phoenix Suns and it's out of the horns. Why the horns over series? Now, if you're running stuff, and this is mainly for your point guard bringing it up. But say your point guard's face guarding and you got to put the ball in somebody else's hands and get the ball back to them. You can do that and get anybody where the two is on the screen. You're going to see various players off of it. The core action on the whole over is just horns alignment and it's a cross screen. A lot of people refer to this as like an Iverson cut because you're cutting over. You can cut under it. You can cut over it. You read the defense. And you're trying to get the ball to your player in like somewhere in this area so they can operate. Sometimes it's going to be just turn and go. Sometimes it's going to be catch and shoot there if you like that shot. Sometimes it's going to be I don't have anything. And now we're going to do play actions like triggers and concepts that are all popular out there. So today I'm going to show you this is the core. This is the main action. So again, there's your cross screen action. And then pretty much the one spaces off to the wing and the five either dives down in the short corner area, pops. It's all personnel based, what you wanna do with your five. Let's take, let's take a look at video here of it being used in game. Okay. So as you can see here, this, this area of the floor is pretty wide open. You're getting your players in the corner spaced and the horns in the, in the deep corners. So this really works well for driving kick opportunities or dribble drive motion type offenses as well. Okay, this one was is he kind of came up the alley, so they they did like a like a fake handoff and he kept it and went. That, that's an option you can use out of it. Him getting straight downhill to the basket, mid range. Now this is more off the wide series that I showed. He's not really on the elbow. He's more in a two-sided break, but I, I still like this clip. So I put in there, he curled off of it, got it in the nail area, and now he's just causing havoc to the defense. Now you're all saying, Mark, I don't have Devin Booker. Uh, I don't either, but I think the concept of the actions, if you get the floor spaced, Get the ball back to your best player in the middle of the floor good things can happen you got to have something end of game situations they're denying them they're not they're not letting you just play drive and kick simple quick action that i really like okay here he is in this area so you're gonna see that's just a straight left hand drive you don't want to run it for his left hand you can run it to the opposite side of the floor if you want to get your player going to their right hand Okay, here is a different player. Here is Bridges. So they put a different player there. Now this is old school. And buddy Kurt did a tweet and a Facebook post saying that he ran some stuff, that he ran some stuff off the old Miami Heat. So this is back to the Heatles days of LeBron and Wade. And this is gonna be Bosch. So if you've got a post that you wanna get the ball to, 
or a big forward. It could be anybody you want, right? Just brush them off, get them a catch. So that's, that's the basic core right there. Um, now we're gonna go over if defense does different things to you or option. The first thing obviously you could do is you can reject the screen. So you can act like you're gonna come off and you bump back to the wing area. Right. So why would you reject it? The defense is, you're reading defense, okay? So let's watch, okay, defense went under and he bounced it back out. That's Crowder. Bad closeout. So now you're into regular driving kick principles here. Okay, he's preventing him from using it. He's arm barring him. He's, he's, he's holding him up in the lane. Bounce back. Has that drive opportunity. But he does a pullback and shoots a three. Now, if you have a good player that's a good mid-range shooter, we don't always have them. I don't like the shot too much, but I guarantee you, usually my best player and my second best player are allowed to shoot mid-range shots. And there's a reason why they're allowed to shoot them because they can make them and they've worked on their game. In this one, it's a pure player. They, they, if they can shoot threes, they can shoot mid-range and get to the basket. This is probably an action that you're gonna want to run for that. It's your best individual player. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these tonight. Okay, what, what if we run reject and we can't, sh we can't do anything, okay? So they have a trigger, they have an action, what are they gonna do? I didn't diagram this one, I will probably end up doing it before I publish it. They ball reversed, they swung, and now they're gonna flare him. He's gonna cut, he's gonna do the Iverson off of that, and they're gonna flare him back to the other side. Okay, we'll see that one again. Does not have a shot attempt. Doesn't like his drive. Get it back to point guard and do a flare off of it, top of the key area for another drive. Hey coach, if you enjoyed learning today about the basics of the Horns Over series, you can take a deeper dive on a clinic I did previously at systembasketball.com. That clinic is available inside of our store. So head on over to systembasketball.com to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can get access to that on demand if you choose.